My name is Makase Chinedu. In this video, I will treat the constraint utility maximization without the use of what large range multiplier what method. And this method is first for us to drive our first order condition and what our second order what condition for what utility maximization. Okay? So Without a um, normally the the methods or approaches we could apply here are substitution substitution method and language multiplier method. But the instrument of lambda will not be applied here. I will have to apply the equilibrium formula. Okay, so. When I say solution, okay. Now, first of all, um, the questions raise maximize utility or total utility equal to two x y, where x and y are what individual what commodities, which is subject to what the income hundred okay of a consumer equal to what five x plus what four y. We have five and four are what the Commodity prices, okay? All right. Now say solution. Solution, okay? Now we have to establish, establish the equilibrium, equilibrium formula, okay? So um, that is giving us. Um, U sub X, sorry, that is giving us, all right, that is giving us, um, U sub X over U sub Y, okay, over U sub Y, U sub X, all over u sub y equal to px over py px over what py all right so uh what do we do let's call this equation a uh, well let's call this equation 3 Okay, yep, for ease of reference, okay. So, now, the, 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 the left-hand side of this equation, okay, is the um, slope of an indifference in, in curve, while the right-hand side of the equation is the ratio of the commodity prices, okay, or the budget line. All right, so, let us go. Um, now, okay, we look for for the u sub x, okay? u sub x is the partial derivative of u with respect to x. The same goes towards u sub y. Our px is 5, py is what? 4, okay? So now say u sub x equals um, what? 2y, okay? And u sub y U sub y equals 2x, okay? Again, B sub x is 5, sorry, B sub x equals 5, the same way. The same way, P sub y equals 4. All right, so let's do the substitution. Okay, let's substitute, okay, this, 2y, 2x, 5, 4, into what, equation 3. Okay, so doing that, doing the substitution, we have um, from the left-hand side, from the de de denominator, we have 2y. 2y from the denominator. No, sorry. 
from the divisor, we have 2x. From the dividend of the left hand side, we have 2y. Okay. From the right hand side, the divisor gives us 4. Mm -hmm. Dividend gives us um, 5. All right. Mm -hmm. Let's call this equation 4. All right. Then let's clear fraction. Clear the fraction. So, oh. clear fraction. Okay, to half. When we say clear fraction, we mean we should multiply or cross multiply, okay, the equation 4. That is 4 times in the left hand side, the, the left side size dividend of, of the equation 4, and the 2x times in the right hand side was dividend of the same equation 4. So that gives us what? Um, a no fractional word times, okay, from both sides, okay, so that 4 times 2y, we give you what, 8y equal to 5, 2x times 5 gives me what, 10x, alright, okay, now, let's solve for y, alright, by dividing through by what, 8, okay, so, Sorry for y gives me um, y equal to equal to um, um, ten over eight. Okay, x. All right. Okay, let's just write it first of all. Okay, ten over eight x. All right. Okay, which is equal to y equal to five over four. Okay, that is afterwards simplification okay, of the terms. 5 over 4 what? X. Okay, let's call this equation 5. Okay, now let's substitute. Okay, in place of X in equation 2, given above, okay, that is the budget equation. Let's substitute what? Y equals to what? 5 over 4X in place of what? Y. Okay, of, e of equation 2. I repeat, in place of y of our equation 2 given above, that is the budget equation, let us substitute what y equals to what 5 over what 4x. Okay. That is simply we say substitute equation 5 into what equation 2. Okay? So we say substitute, substitute 5 into 4. Okay, we should say substitute 5 into what 4. Oh, sorry, into what? 2. Okay. We know substitute equation 5 into what? Equation 2. Simple. Okay. So, the win that we have 100 equals 100 equals to 5x. Okay. Plus 4y. But in place of y, we put what? 5 over for y okay do you understand all right so um noting that these two we cancel out four and four we strike out so let's strike them out okay so that is the equation to what 100 equals equals of 5x 5x plus 5x, okay, which is 100 equals to, equals 10x, okay, all right, um, should we call this equation 6, okay, all right, let's solve for x, you know, say, solve, solve, for x, okay, to have so for x to have now solve for x, okay, we divide through equation six by what ten, okay, that is the coefficient of what x, okay, so dividing through equation equation six by ten it has got to what solve for x, okay, um, so uh, doing that we have x to be equal to 
equals to 100 all over 10. And 100 over 10 is what? 100 over 10 is what? 10. Okay. Therefore, therefore our x, therefore x is equal to what? 10. Okay? So, for y, for y value, we substitute or we plug the value of x, that is x equal to what? 10 in our equation 4. In our what? Equation 4. Okay? So, 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 okay. All right, so doing that, we now have um, y, the equation 4 normally is given as what? y equal to, y equal to 5 over 4, what? x equal to 5 over what? For what x but x is what x is what 10 therefore we substitute to have y equal to equal to equal to 5 over 4 sorry 5 over 4 times times what Okay, x is what? X is um, 10, right? Times 10, okay. All right. So now, um, 5 times 10 is 50, right? So we now have it to be equal to what? 50 over 4. Okay. 50. 50 over 4. All right. 50 over 4, which is to what? To cancel itself, okay. Let's say uh, um, 50. Let's say let's uh, cancel four. Four cancel itself gives me gives me what? Gives me let's say two, right? Okay. Gives me two. Then 50 as in if when used to the to, to cancel 50. You should have the same what? The same what? The same, okay, 25, okay? All right, so you should have what? 25, all right? Okay, so now the answer should be 25 over what? 2, okay? 25 all over what? 2. So therefore, we see Without much time wasting, okay, we have derived our commodity, okay? Yes, um, bonds that can maximize the consumer's what utility, okay? And here, y is what? 5 over 2, okay? Y is an irrational number, okay? And x is a whole number, okay? So, uh, which is what? 10, all right? So, these are the two goods. That one substitute into the original equation that is u equal to two x y. Okay, we have the maximum utility of a what consumer. All right. So this is F O C. That is the first order condition or necessary condition. Okay. But it is not sufficient enough. Okay. So we go using what the Hessian determinant. Okay, to check if we if actually y equals to five over two and x equals to what. 10 are really the goods, okay, that will maximize a consumer's what satisfaction. So, we now we start to what SOC. That is the second other condition or the sufficient what condition of what utility maximization. So we do this by what employing the what here's a matrix, okay. Let us what create the Asian formula first, okay. It's a three by three matrix, okay. 
don't know how we have H O H one H H H two H three okay. But normally we say that the H one is the entry of the first row. Okay, the first row of the first row. H O is what the sub matrix. Okay, as the upper region, the left upper region, and H three is the full matrix. Okay, but that is not important here. Let's just establish what a three by three what matrix. Okay, sorry. Let's 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 do this. Let's do this like this. Okay. All right. Now we have um. This okay equal to this matrix okay. Now we say let's call this matrix H okay. That is Hessian matrix okay. So now let us form the matrix. Let us okay. The formula first of all we now say U sub x x U sub x x U that is the cross partial derivative. Sub xy sub xy u sub yx sub yx u sub yy then minus px minus p sub x that is the formula minus p sub y minus p sub y the same goes here minus p sub x and again minus p minus p sub y and the last enter of the third row is what zero okay so this is the formula actually okay when we employ lapis expansion method in mean the expansion of this word h matrix okay we shall have a positive word number that shows that actually our soak is what maximized for what utility what maximization so let us find our use of x x okay now normally our use of x is 2 2y right okay let's say recall recall our use of sub x is equal to what 2y okay 2y again it means that differentiating u partially again with respect to x we shall have nothing there's nothing to differentiate so that should give us what zero so u sub xx is what zero okay in the same way uh u sub y is what 2x okay 2x right so differentiating u again with respect to y that is second partial derivative okay with respect to y we give me what zero okay there's nothing there to differentiate there's no y here okay so we have zero okay so that are the cross partials okay um we have our u sub x y will be equal to um two okay which is equal to our u sub y x okay so please um by young's theorem okay we say that the cross partial must be the same okay u sub x y means that we go to y okay the first partial u of y the, the first partial u with respect to y and for shift x that should give me what two the same way u sub y x will still also give me what two okay that is what we mean by what young theorem and we know our value for what p x and what p y already so that we substitute to have u m h equal to the matrix now with the numbers the entries now okay um to say which is zero zero two two zero zero okay so this 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 known entries now are what we call our h2 okay which is normally negative okay yes that is what we call positive definite okay yes all right um again we have the prices to be what minus five that is px minus four py minus five px minus four py and zero okay 
so now the determination that is the matrix determinant okay of this is um, let's say this is so now by lapis expansion method okay expand, expanding across the first row okay zero the first entry is zero it it it, 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 it will eliminate the sub matrix okay so there's no need to input it okay so let me start from the second one by this by this place sign I have what minus two of the sub matrix okay which is which is um okay two minus five which is sorry two two uh -huh, minus four then two minus four minus five and zero okay so again minus five of another two by two which is what two minus five two minus five zero minus four okay so we have our determinant to be equal to um two two of two times zero is what zero minus minus four times minus five is what twenty okay so we have minus five of again two times minus four is what two times minus four is minus eight okay minus zero that is zero times minus five is what zero okay so we have it to be equal to all right zero minus twenty is minus twenty minus twenty Okay, wait, wait. All right, I'm coming. Well, let me check something. Okay. Oh, sorry. Okay, I'm right, I'm right, I'm right. Okay, minus. I failed to put minus sign here. Okay, so that got me a little bit confused. Okay. But now I have it. Okay. So now, um, minus 20 times, 0 minus 20 is minus 20. So minus 20 times minus 2 is what? 40. Okay? Minus 8 minus 0 is what? Minus 8. Minus times minus 5. Minus 8 times minus 5 is what? Plus 40. Okay? And 40 plus 40 now gives me what? 80. A positive what? Number. So we say that H... Hazier matrix, okay, is equal to what? Is equal to what? 80, which is what? Greater than what? Zero, okay? That is positive definite, okay? So, on this note, we say that, um, that, um, U, U equal to, 2xy okay which is equal to um two brackets bracket was 10 for x times times 10 times 25 over 2 that's for y Okay, let's do the algebraic manipulation of this, okay? So, when we cancel 2 by what's 10, that is 2 by itself is 1. Okay, we cancel what's 2 here. We cancel what 10, okay, to have 5, to have 5, okay? So, so we have... Um, so I have five here, okay. So five times twenty five now, okay. You now give me five times twenty five is now one twenty five, okay? Alright. 
So I shall I will have u equal to two times one twenty five one two five okay to so have times two to one two five times two is two fifty okay two fifty all right so the values of x equal to 10 y equals to the fractional 10 25 over 2 are the outputs that we maximize the monopolies what utility okay and when we substitute these outputs okay into our second equation that is budget equation we shall see that our income are exhausted okay our income of what 100 are what exhausted that is 100 equal to 5 of 10 x is what 10 and again plus 4 of 4 of the fractional value of y which is what 25 over what 2 okay 2 cancel itself 1 2 cancel 4 is 2 okay I'm left with what 2 okay I'm left with 2 all right so 2 times 25 is what? 20, um, 50. Okay. So we have 100 equal to 50 plus 50. Okay. So have you seen that actually the commodities, okay, after known, okay, actually are the goods, okay, with their respective prices that exhaust our income or the income of a prospective buyer or consumer okay so um hope this helps hope this helps hope this helps okay um thank you so much thanks 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 to you all right by makasi chinedu by makasi chinedu please um, in my other videos, I normally don't say, okay, that I'm responsible for any typographical or verbal error found in this video. So please, in this particular video, I'm responsible for any typographical error, okay, um, or any verbal error, okay? Please, just, you know, understand my meaning. Thanks.